Ooh, you got it. We are live. Welcome to Living in Brittany's Bubble. Have no wedding regrets because today I am interviewing Brittany Bay with Bay Productions. And I am so excited because I have had wedding regrets and I don't want that to happen to you. So let's get started. Brittany, yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself and um, a little bit about your business. So I am Brittany Bay. Um, me and Brittany have similar names, both Brittany B. Um, I started my business eight and a half years ago. Um, because honestly, I just something my husband said, who was my boyfriend at the time, um, he said, I want to make my mark on the world. And I said, Okay, how do you want to do that? And he was like, I don't know. So I was like, okay, so we need more information. Um, he <laughs> was a, um, a director at the Fairmont Hotel. He'd been doing hotels for 17 years. And I um, was in sales and marketing and management um, for my whole career um, and just never loved it. And I came home crying one day and I was like, I just want to do something I'm passionate about. Yeah. And, um, my best friend was over at the time and she was like, um, so if you could do anything, what would you want to do? And I had a whole bottle of wine and I was like videography out of literally nowhere. And, um, and she's like, okay, so do it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I posted on Facebook and was like, um, if anyone wants me to do their wedding video, I'll do it for a hundred dollars. And 13 people that day responded, yes. And wow. I was like, okay, Jeremy, I guess we need a, a camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what a story. Yeah. Okay, and so was, how long yeah. ago was this? That was eight and a half years ago. And then he, um, I realized after doing one wedding, I was like, okay, you need like a second shooter for this. Um, yeah. And so I started having Jeremy come alongside with me and, um, he hated it at first. And, um, after a while, because he was, you know, working 50 hours a week already at his job. And, um, after a while I was like, we have this camera that does both photo and video. What if I did photo and you did video? And he was like, oh my gosh, I'm already doing this like full-time job. Now you're wanting me to do another full-time job. Um, and so for the first year, he basically just did it. And we were also saving for our wedding. Um, and then quickly after our wedding, like literally that month, he, he completely turned and was like obsessed with it. Um, and so from initially it was our goal to do uh, for me to do photo full time after two years. Yeah. And I ended up doing it full time after about four months. That is so awesome. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, I want to, I want to highlight something um, because, you know, obviously like everybody knows like at least probably five photographers and, you know, right. whatever. Right. And so I saw you post the other day. Um, it may have been a couple of months ago. And, um, I saw this picture. Can you see this on my screen? Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> and I was just blown away and it's not just the actual like picture that you posted, but what right. you said, and let me move, let me move this. You said that you were constantly thinking of how you can make an image, a piece of art for their home. Mm -hmm. And I just knew right away that you were different than Aww. any other photographer that I've ever seen. And, and so it's just been so fun, you know, following your Instagram, um, you guys, if you're watching Bay, um, underscore productions, um, is her handle. So definitely hop on there. You really do create pieces of art. And so I just, I knew that you were somebody I wanted to follow and, uh, and learn more about. So I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you. And, so um, I'm glad that you like, I'm glad people actually read the little, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I'm sitting there after every image. I'm like, what am I going to write about this one? <laughs> right? No, I get it. But you do it so well. And I just absolutely adore your work. So let's talk more about your work. So um, you mentioned before 
and I'll start stop scaring, sharing my screen here in just a minute. But uh, you mentioned before that you most of your business is is weddings, right? Yeah. So about eighty two percent, is that right? Yep, eighty two percent. That's awesome. So tell me if a couple is looking for a photographer team or whatnot, um, what should they be asking? How do they know that they're hiring the right people? Right. So first of all, you want to find out what your own style is. So you're going to look at, do you want just documentary? Do you want um, someone to help you with your posing? Do you want light and airy? Do you want um, a little more moody? Do you want warm? Like what exactly is your style? Do you want things that are like more out of the box or do you want things that are more editorial or, you know, things like that. So once you know your style, you can look and find the photographer you're looking for. Um, but also like if someone came to me and said, you know, I really like your work. I want to work with you. And I like when, um, the images are just, you know, documentary style. I mean, like there are specific things that we can, um, focus on for each wedding. Most people are like, um, I love your work. Do you? And I trust you. <laughs> but if some, you know, I have had definitely clients that are like, this is more like specifically what I'm wanting. I do see that of your work. And I just want to focus on like that kind of aspect of it, if that makes sense. Yeah. So no, definitely definitely, finding yeah. your style is very important. Um, one thing that I never get asked that people should be asking is, um, or not never, but very rarely is, um, can I see a full album? So a lot of photographers on their Instagram are just posting, you know, like what you're looking at right now, just kind of posed pictures. But I always like to make sure that I incorporate reception pictures, because if you look at people or photographers, Instagram, it is rare that you're seeing like dark photos, how they light their room. So it took me at least 40 weddings to really like be like, okay, I kind of understand like the reception lighting. Um, I've done 400 weddings now. So now I can do all sorts of like tricks and things with my lighting, but, um, you really want to see how a photographer does their lights at the reception. Can they shoot in a dark room? Because when I'm looking for a photographer for a second shooter, that's always what I'm looking for is do they do off camera flash, which will make a world of difference in your reception. And a lot of photographers do not do that. Um, you're going to see like in my pictures, when you look at the reception, you'll see like this flash, um, coming up. Well, it's not in that one, but <laughs> <laughs> that is so fun, by the but way. This, but that is an example of some like a trick that I can do with receptions. Yeah. Is, okay. Is I, I blurred the image, the part that's moving. Yes. And so you you get like the couple that's still, and then you get like where they're moving the um uh what's it called the little glow sticks um because you kind of like experience like you're feeling like you're experiencing what's happening there. So, um, right there, you can see the, the flash behind, uh, -huh, right there. Okay. So yeah. That's going to okay. like make the photo just so much better. I think yeah. there's a few more, um, if you click, so pretty. but anyway, so, so pretty. um, yeah, you just want to see how someone is going to light their reception because a lot, of, what I realized with my wedding photographer is that, you know, they did our engagements and it was like, great. But then once it came to the, the reception, she could, she didn't know what she was doing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I didn't know that till it was too late. Sure. So yeah, absolutely. That, that is definitely, that was a bummer. <laughs> so, so this particular couple, um, they, so she actually wore a different dress on yeah. her wedding day. Didn't she? Yeah. It's becoming you recommend that. Trendy. Yeah. Oh yes. Actually one of my best friends is getting married and she was like, do I change? And I was like a hundred percent and her favorite color is black. I was like, you could even change into a black dress. It's very Ooh. trendy right now to just have a, a party dress. What a great idea. Yeah. Why that, that wasn't a thing earlier. I don't know. <laughs> Your lighting here too. I think it's just so neat. Like they are just pop, like popping out, you know, you. from that Actually, background. it's funny you say that because I, I will specifically highlight the people and, um, 
like add more light to them so that they do stand out from the background. It's just beautifully done. Absolutely love it. <laughs> so you do, obviously I'm looking at boats and I see some very obvious um, destination weddings. How often are you, are you doing destination weddings? Um, how often I would say uh, every few months. So like, okay. um, in the fall right now, we're doing like one a month. Um, we do probably one at least every three months. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so <laughs> I remember it was mine and Michael's one year anniversary. We were at a resort and I wanted anniversary pictures, you know, and so the resort said, oh, you know, we have a professional photographer. And so we're like, that's great. Awesome. So we had these pictures done. They were so bad. And they just <laughs> were not professional pictures. It was right. not what I was looking for. Right. And so my fear for couples, you know, that are getting married at a destination is it wise for them to hire a local and have that photographer team, you know, photography team travel with them versus trusting on site people? Right. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I actually have had a lot of experience where like somebody was trying to decide, like, can we afford to take you because we would prefer that? Um, or do we go with like the on site photographer, which are kind of your main options are going to be like, you trust the person, um, that is on site at like the resort, or you bring in someone from the U S or things like that. And, um, I can tell you that it has never gone well <laughs> for like, um, everyone that has done the on site one has, has pretty much regretted it just because, um, they're not, like you said, they're not going to be like the professional type of photography. It's just not, unfortunately, not the uh, best route to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you said, um, on this post right here that you have been looking for this contrast for years. Where <laughs> did you find this? This was across the street from their wedding venue. And it was just like something super random. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, there's a black and a white wall. <laughs> it's so neat. I mean, again, this just goes back to your, you know, like your artistic brain and you looking for pieces. I am just so all about that. You know, at our home, we don't have a lot of wall space, you know, to hang things. So right. when, you know, I will have a blank wall forever before I just put something up there that I don't love. Same. Yes. So yeah. So you get that. So for me, you know, for you to really just go out of your way to find these pieces for these couples is just so cool to me. Thank you. I, I really love like doing it's, it's, uh, just how my mind works. I don't like to like study things beforehand. I love seeing things in real life and being like, and get my inspiration, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to talk about this model bride. So one thing that stood out to me, and I think this is a, such a great tip. And so, um, you had mentioned, let's talk about her, her dress. I know. Cause I wanted to come from you. This, you get all the credit for this tip. What's the tip. Okay. So when I am, um, well, obviously the tip is get a slit in your dress. <laughs> I mean, that is, I mean, my, wowzers. I know like after this, I'm like, can you, can anyone actually not get a dress with a slit? Like that you just, this is proof that you need to do that. Um, by the way, she said model bride. She is an actual bride. This was not a model right. shoot or anything. She's just looks like a model. Yeah. Um, but the, <laughs> she's it's just unreal I was like in every photo we're showing your legs girl <laughs> yes absolutely gorgeous love her dress do you know where she got her dress does she I tell don't. you I should yeah I should find out and tag it definitely because she really does I just I love when you know looking through your pictures I mean she really stands out yes uh I've heard I've heard that from a few other people too I wow mean, yeah. absolutely breathtaking Let's talk about your, your edits because you, and I know we talked a little bit about that earlier, but I want to talk about some of the things that you do that I just haven't seen 
um, with other photographers. This is the blurred out background you were talking about, right? These two. Okay. So the one in the middle is where I told them to be. Yeah, that one. I told them to be very still and go in for a kiss. Um, click the next little arrow. Yeah. Okay. So the, it's like the first gif I ever made. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this so much. So I told them to stay in the middle and kiss. And then, um, basically I just have to, I just wanted to capture everybody else kind of a little bit of a blur, you know, where, it, because it's real life, like where the, everything is blurry around them and they're the only thing that, you know, is in focus. If, if anybody could make a picture come to life, it is you. That is so <laughs> cool. Seriously. And I, I mean, literally just thought of it just right there with all like the symmetry of the building and stuff. And I was like, we got to do this. Ugh. So a lot of times, this is funny. Like, I feel like I'm always like disturbing them when I'm like, Hey, can I grab you for a second? I'm going to like do this cool thing. And then every single time they're like, yes, this is why we hired you. I'm like, Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> disturb away. I love it. There's another one. I'm going to scroll down again. Um, is it okay that I'm keeping this up here? Of course. Kidding. Okay. So <laughs> this one, I mean, it gives this illusion that there's, that it's a mirrored floor. It's not. So this is right. obviously your, your artwork here. Right. So talk to me about this. Why do this? What even makes you think to do this? This is, um, actually done with my cell phone. And, um, <laughs> it's kind of become a staple thing that I like to do, um, just because it is one of those things that they can, you know, make art like frame in their home. Yeah. Um, it's going to be something like, I always, always try to do a few real wow photos for them to be able to, um, to hang up. And actually one of my couples who put up their photos um, up on their wall, their friend came over to their house, saw their wedding photos. And just from the photos that were on their wall, they hired me to shoot their wedding in Virginia. That gives so, me chills. Do, oh, <laughs> that gives me chills. I just love that. That is pretty cool. Aww. That's so good. I yeah, love that so much. I would say of like, if someone was asked me like what my style was, I just like to be, I like to go for the wow factor. Um, I also really like to, um, what's the word I'm looking for to make you feel like you're there. Um, so like for me, I'm like, you see like a style that's really light and airy. And I think that's like a pretty picture, but to me that doesn't like evoke emotion. Um, and so I'm trying to go for the feels basically. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that a lot. So obviously your editing skills are impeccable. What are some things that you would coach your clients on with things that you just, you really can't fix? Um, so spray tans. (laughs) Okay. So my number one nemesis is spray tans. As you can see, I'm already a warm photographer. I'm not like super orange or anything, but I like to have the warmth. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. and so if you get a spray tan, you're just that much warmer. Um, like you're going to probably look tanner in your wedding photos than you are in real life, uh, in my style. So what's hard in any style of anyone is, um, editing with a spray tan, what they're not thinking about is how you're looking next to your partner who is most likely not spray tanned. Um, And so I'm having to tone down the orange in my pictures, um, which tones down the orange in his skin, which makes him paler. Um, So spray tans are are just terrible. (laughs) Or if you're standing next to your your bridal party, um, unless they all had spray tans, one is just going to be standing out. It just does not look good. Just don't, don't do it. It's just not a good look. Okay. (laughs) So if it reminds tan, me too, bed tan, but don't go crazy. Like okay. a, just a little natural color is really all you want. And a lot of times you're going to like a honeymoon where you're going to be in the sun. So it's actually good coming from, um, a former manager of Palm beach tan for two years. <laughs> uh, it's actually better to do a little bit of bed tanning before you go 
to a beach vacation um, and burn yourself. So, you know, it's like the slow little bit of tanning is better than right. I can totally relate to that. That is hilarious. So speaking of edits and, you know, my regret, I had spray tan and in my bridal pictures, there's multiple pictures that I did not use because in the photographer's editing process, my shoes ended up turning out a purple color. What? So they just didn't look like, it just didn't match my dress anymore. You know what I um, think they probably did was they were toning down your spray tan. So you have yes. to make it more blue and yes. then your shoes turned purple. <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell you that literally just came to me just now after you just told me <laughs> it all makes sense. So don't do it. Don't have regrets. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. So speaking of more regrets, um, I, in an effort to save money, right? Obviously I did not hire a videographer. And it makes me so sad. Right. So I want to talk about that because I know that there is someone watching, you know, today that uh, may be getting married in the future. And obviously we all want to save money. Why should someone find a way to put this in their budget to include videographer in videography in their budget? So as a photographer, my um, me and Jeremy are doing a vow renewal because our wedding was, uh, not, it did not go as planned. Um, for that's another thing we have in common. So many reasons, so many <laughs> reasons, literally we're laying there in bed that night. We're like, we're going to do a redo in 10 years. So, um, I love it. so anyway, we, um, as a wedding photographer, I can tell you that wedding video is more important to me than the photos. Um, and I think it's mostly coming from our own wedding day, but that is the number one thing that I hear the most is that people regret not getting a wedding video. And to me, wedding photo, video, and your DJ should be like your number ones because that will make or break. Um, video made my uh, perception of my wedding day so much better. So meaning like I was so stressed out, um, day of trying to get everything perfect. That's just my personality. Um, yeah. I didn't get to fully enjoy myself like I wanted to. So when I'm watching these videos, I'm like, oh, literally said out loud, people are having fun. <laughs> like, my reception was really fun. And I just couldn't see it because I, all I could think of was this needs to be happening and you know, whatever. Um, so that for one, um, for two, um, my, uh, grandpa was my father daughter. We did our father daughter dance with my grandpa and he passed away six weeks after, um, our wedding. So there, there are just like moments you're yeah. okay. Our wedding was eight years ago. When we watched that footage, there are like my best friend passed away last year. I was able to go through all of my raw footage and put together a video of just him dancing and, and all the times that he's right next to me. Like you you never know how important and how special, um, those videos are going to be. And like, just imagine watching them with your kids when you're, I mean, sorry, Brittany, you're not gonna be able to do that, but <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that, that really hits home for me because my grandmother too passed away not long after our wedding. And we got lucky because somebody on their cell phone, and I don't remember yeah. who ended up taking a video of my grandmother, you know, just kind of doing this or something oh. cute at, the, at the reception table to the music. And it was just so cute and to just be able to have more of that incorporated and in, you know to our wedding memories would have been really special right right so I want to highlight this one reel that you did and hopefully it doesn't blast us out here but this was so <laughs> cute can I play this of course and I'm going to check our time here okay so we're running out of time but I have to show this to people so obviously hold on there we go so you can see Jeremy over here he's doing the video recording so good so good it Thank was you. so neat to just be able to see you know jeremy in the background working 
and um, doing his video piece. And so like that right there is going to be something that's going to be, I'm assuming in their, in their, um, are they doing that in their, are they doing a video of that? Video. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, it's just so neat to just be able to see like things like that. You don't really get to see like behind the scenes and, um, and to we see had a girl that was trying to learn wedding photography and she followed me all day taking behind the scenes videos. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that and that's also like, and, and, you know, couples can go and, and snatch those too and, and keep those too, which makes it even more raw and more fun. So, yeah. um, okay. I'm just in awe. I, I just really am impressed with everything that you do. Um, you know, you and Jeremy, you can tell that y'all have chemistry and that, um, y'all work really well together. You can see it. Obviously the proof is in the pudding in your work. Um, my advice would be, you know, if you are hiring a photographer and a videographer, a husband and wife team, like you guys would make sense because right. you're working together as a team, um, all the time and you really know how to work well together. And I just absolutely love that. We're running out of time, Brittany. I could talk to you for days <laughs> before we go. Will you touch on the, uh, and I've been scrolling so people can really see the other um, types of photography that you offer, but right. can you just touch on those a little bit? Sure. So we basically shoot everything photo and video. Um, we do lifestyle, newborn, we do family photos, we do corporate, um, corporate video, corporate photos. Um, we do, you know, for businesses who want, um, photo and video for their Instagram, we create, um, footage for that. Uh, branding photos and videos, things like that. I even do births and those are my favorite things. Um, so yeah, lot, capturing like, oh, capturing the emotion of that is just, there's nothing better than that. Um, but yeah, we basically do it all. <laughs> you, I love it. So, and you, did you mention branding and lifestyle too? Did you mention yeah. that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. I wanted to make sure you covered that. Awesome. So how can people book with you? So on our website, it's bayproductions.info. Um, and there is a um, portion that says book a session. So they can book any type of session right there. Um, if they are wanting a wedding, then they would go to contact and info and they'd fill out our contact sheet. Um, and then we'd send them our pricing booklet through that portal. You said bayproductions.info. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then they can follow you on Instagram at the bay underscore productions. At, yeah, at bay product, bay underscore productions. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> at, bay, at bay underscore productions. Got it. And then anywhere else? Um, on Facebook, Bay Productions. And um, we have a lot of fun TikToks on under Bay Productions also. Bay Productions. Jeremy's sitting right here next to me. Bay hey, Productions Jeremy. one. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> one, um, one last quick thing on why I get video. Oh, yes, say, tell me. Say the father of the bride gives an amazing speech during the reception. Say a, say a, say a tear is coming down his cheek. And there's a photo of that, of that tear, this father's amazing speech. 10 years later, you're looking at that photo and you're thinking, what did he say? Mm -hmm. I, don't right. I don't remember what he said. Oh my gosh. It's an emotional thing. What did he say? Video, you'll have what he says. Yeah. I love it. Thank, Thank you for adding that. You're so good. Don't make me cry. <laughs> my uncle at our rehearsal dinner, he um, gave a speech that made me and Jeremy both cry. And I'm like, I, if I didn't have that, I would, oh, that'd be, that would be my biggest regret if I just didn't have that. Oh my gosh. Well, I love it. Love you guys. Y'all are You're amazing. Welcome. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time today. Thank you for bringing us on. I so of appreciate course. it. You are such oh. a good interviewer. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. All right, girl. Have an awesome day. I know you have Thank clients you. to see. Awesome. Bye-bye.